you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager. Maybe you have started your journey, you have tried it once, it was a bit complicated, or you're already intermediate and want to reach expert status. So how, how would I go about it? Um, I would say that there are like four basic levels. At the beginning, you should just focus on being able to properly install Google Tag Manager, how to configure and create tags, and how to set up the basic triggers, page view, clicks, scroll events, timers, stuff like that, yeah, that are, that are not so, so difficult to configure. Um, get that in line first before you focus on, on the more complex stuff. Then the second level would be to start to, to be able to be more picky about the, the event listeners. For example, if you go for link clicks and you want to track them, to be more subtle in the choice um, for the filter. Let's say you have five call to action buttons on your website. They all lead to the same other part of the website. Um, you can create a tag and a trigger for each and every single one. That is a lot of work. Or you become a bit more subtle and you create one trigger that captures all five of those button clicks in one move. The next topic I would consider after that is thinking about variables, storing information in variables that you can use somewhere else. Let's say a user made a choice. I recently had to do a choice on an e-commerce page. Are you um, B2C or B2B customer because of VAT to be included or not? It was a very, very awesome idea to ask me that and to use that as a segmentation later for the retargeting. So it's a great idea for all B2B e-commerce situations. And you want to store these kinds of information in variables and use those, this information at, la at some later point. For example, you want to store the consent and what people consented to in the data privacy settings and whatnot. And uh, what I would then tackle is form submissions. Form submissions um, are not super difficult, but I would say it's not super beginner friendly to do form validation before you actually send the event uh, to your tracking tools. After that, the fun starts. <laughs> so the data layer is, is an additional layer of data that you can access, um, that you can push data into. For example, everything that somebody put into the checkout, um, anonymized user IDs, uh, cookie consent status, and you can use it in different tools at different points and times when people come back. It's, it's a wonderful place um, that allows a lot of complexity. And then you can tackle a topic like, like e-commerce tracking. For the love of God, if you use Shopify or something similar, try to use the built-in solutions to rebuild a complete e-commerce tracking setup with add to cards and product names and prices and all that stuff in Google Tag Manager is a lot of work. But of course, if you are an advanced shop and you see the advantages, go for it. And if you have a single page application, yeah, there are a lot of more has to be done by hand. But if you have a single page applications, you know how to code or you have a developer on your team who's building it, there you will need help configuring most of the events yeah, that you are firing. So there are some subtleties to that as well. And then the learning doesn't stop and I could definitely have more levels than the four, but everything that I would say that is based on custom events that you configure by hard coding them into your back backend and front end and any custom JavaScript, that would uh, be after that. So if you want to learn this, try to stay pretty much in this order. And, and you will feel confident in, in your abilities. Even level one gives you 80% of the convenience features that, that a daily marketer needs yeah, from Google Tech Manager. But how do you get there? Where do you learn this stuff? Um, the first resource I really can heartily recommend, not only for Google Tech Manager, but also for Google Analytics, for Google Data Studio, is the Google Academy. Man, this is a free interactive video course series that other people would charge you a thousand bucks for. I think it goes beyond the fundamentals. And of course, there is much more documentation around it. But this is a great free place to start that is pretty structured. 
you want to go beyond that or if you don't like if you just want to want to see stuff that how do i do the form tracking how do i track the button click uh, you want to go to julian's youtube channel called measure school julian is a german guy who actually does this in english i think in the first year of dealing with google tech manager i learned 80 percent from him yeah from measure school and just from the youtube channel and you can really go deep there and he's keeping up content and creating new and interesting stuff in the world of the data-driven way of, of marketing so i can highly recommend that uh, this link is functional so if you downloaded the slides you can just click here and you'll you'll land on that channel um and he also has a paid product i'm not affiliated by that i can just recommend it uh, i've used it a lot uh, to just go into the nitty-gritty and deeper parts of Google Tech Manager. Um, he has this website called Measure School uh, and you can, it has like multiple very nice topical um, courses about Google Tech Manager. Yeah, just go there and check it out. It's, it's, it's highly recommended from, from my end. And of course, there's the developer documentation of Google Tech Manager, uh, which explains everything the complete api access or if you want to do crazy stuff like server side tracking with google tech manager manager which is now available if you want to do zones and tech manager 360 everything is explained in the developer documentation for that and if i have really difficult questions like this is the place where i get an answer is this even possible or not yeah so uh, I, I like those resources and of course you can use the our youtube channel the pirate skills channel we will keep on producing content like this introducing you uh, to new tools to new techniques and mindsets uh, in growth marketing like today and there are past um, events about google analytics about facebook pixel tracking and all that kind of stuff um, that i hope is worth for you to subscribe and and to like and to leave a comment yeah that would be awesome and uh, I think those are the resources I, I would go to in the beginning and until you're super advanced. So that's it. We, we handled how to manage tags without code, how to use it for your ads, how to create more um, user behavior visibility and how to um, stay on this learning path in Google Tech Manager, which leaves us now time for the Google Tech Manager Q&A in the next video.